Hey, fun fans, before we get to this Behind the Bumpers video, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsors, PTC and Striker. PTC currently has the Robots to the Rescue Challenge going on where you can earn a share of $7,000 for your team by designing a robot that helps solve a current world problem at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. And Striker is looking for first and fun fans to join their team because they want to help support you in your first journey. Help develop solutions for current and future problems like the new emergency relief bed. Get details on how to join their team at careers.strykr.com forward slash first. Hey, it's Tyler down here at the Midwest Regional checking with number, team number 1625, Winnovation. Uh, this team so far has been looking really good. A great intake, a cool turret, a really fast climber as well, too. We're going to preview all this here on Behind the Bumpers. So I'm here with Ryan and Molly, and I want to start out with this intake system. Why don't you talk about it a bit? Let's show some power cells going through as well. All right. So our intake system is powered by this motor here, and pist pneumatic pistons push out the intake. And then Okay. Oh, there you go. And it picks up balls from the floor and and deposits them in the ring system around our robot. Right. And up next we have our hang here. These surgical tubings they um, hold the hanger in place. And when yep. and when you release them, these guys pull back, releasing them all the way up. And we can retract these within two seconds to achieve a very fast climb. I actually want to ask you about this uh, intake system here. This, so you guys, you mentioned you're kind of doing this like semi-helix a little bit, right? Uh, what made you decide to want to go with that type of design choice as your uh, index of your power cells? Yeah. All right. So we kind of went with this kind of design because it was we found it to be very efficient for picking up the, the biggest amount of balls we can get in front of our system. And we also use this in, or agitator here to make sure we reduce as many jams as possible. It's very efficient for our design. Hey, let's talk about this wrap up here. This hood, obviously a big key piece of your robot, and you're actually holding this massive flywheel that you have as well, too. So uh, talk to us about this design of the hood, why such a big flywheel as well, too, and how it's been working out for you. Yeah, so it's working out pretty well for us. So our, um, this turret here is CNC'd, oh, this here is CNC'd on our um, part. We have a big flywheel in the middle, and it spins, and we um, shoot out the balls. Um, we have an adjustable hood, so we can change the angle of where we're shooting from. Um, it's been, it's been working really well for us. We have such a big wheel, so then we have um, faster rotation and a better grip on our balls. So innovation, a fantastic team here at the Midwest Regional, really one of the key powerhouses here in Illinois. Just can't wait to see this robot perform even more in the field and good luck during the rest of the season. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.